Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have another ratchet teardown. Today we have the Proto 5449-14BL USA Professional. And if you like my videos, please give me a like. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It would help me a lot. Okay. This is what's considered a spud ratchet. See, it tapers down to a point. It's pretty long. This is like 14 inches long. profile okay let's take a look inside Push it out. Okay. Here's the plate. You can see the nomenclature there. 5449-14BL Proto. It's a pretty thick plate. Not too chintzy. A decent weight. Here's the gear. There's 24 teeth on this gear, so it's pretty coarse. That's what the teeth look like. What's strange about this gear is that it has, instead of a ball detent, it has sort of a plunger and it's not round. It's kind of flat on the sides and flat on top. Here's the underside of the plunger. This is probably where they pressed it in. Has a small plate here. But this plunger, if you if you stick it into a, an extension with a hole in it, such as this, you'll get it in. But because it has flat sides, you won't be able to get this out. You're gonna have to get a tool or something. Press down on the plunger and then you'll be able to get it out. Otherwise, it'll be stuck in there. If you just have the slight, the slight detent sides, such as maybe something like this. It has a slight D10 in there. Yeah, this one, this you'll be able to get out. No problem. But if you have a socket or extension and you put it in where the hole is, yeah, this is, it won't come out unless you you get something and you stick it in that hole and press it down. Then 
may be able to get it out. So that was pretty interesting that it has a plunger instead of a, a ball detent there. These are the poles. Each pole has a spring on the side here. This is what the springs look like. A regular cone, shape, cone shaped type spring. And there's another one on this side. Same thing, cone shaped spring. And these are your poles. This is what they look like. It's flat on top, rounded at the bottom to fit in that detent at the bottom there. That's where the pole rides. And underneath it has this small protrusion. That protrusion fits in the hole right here. And that's what keeps keeps the pole somewhat stable. And here's the other pole. Same thing. Flat on top, rounded at the bottom. Protrusion. It goes in the hole. This is what the mechanism housing looks like. It has the switch, the pendulum switch, it goes back and forth, and uh, switches the poles. the groove here for the plate That's where the plate sits and a small cutout here for the screw both sides small cutout there Okay, put this back. Let's get your paws. Stick, stick the protrusion in the hole. The rounded part facing down. And you get your springs. I put the widest part against the wall of the housing and the smaller diameter part of the spring. I put it against the pole.
figure. Center the spring a little bit there. Take your other paw. Put it back in the hole there. Oh, try to switch. Get the pendulum out of the way. And you put your other paw with the protrusion in the hole. And you take your other spring. The larger diameter of the spring towards the wall. And the smaller. Smaller diameter towards the towards the pole like that, and you center it a little bit more, a little bit better there towards the center. Letters facing out. Put your plate in the grooves. You hold it down there so it won't fall out. You got your screws and you screw in your plate. Switch it to see if uh, see if it works. Okay, there you have it. That's the breakdown of the Proto five four four nine dash one four BL. All right. Until next time. Take care.